Michael here with a huge week in Lego news. 2025 Lego Marvel sets, including Spider-Verse sets. 2025 DC from The Dark Knight and Superman. Everything you need to know about Lego at Comic-Con. Plus, build events and board games. And I'll kick off another round of the weekly giveaway. Just subscribe and leave a comment about this week's news. And of course, I'm back with Lego deals from Amazon and across the web. So if you want to pick anything up to support the channel, there's links in the description below. First at Amazon, Lego Minecraft Skeleton Dungeon is 36% off and Steve's Desert Expedition is 30% off. From Lego Marvel, the Hulkbuster's a whopping 40% off. Plus, the Venom Mech Armor versus Miles Morales is 25% off. From Lego Disney, the Little Mermaid Royal Clamshell is 30% off, and the Disney Animation Icon Set is 27% off. From Lego Dreams, the Crocodile Car is 25% off, and the Pegasus Flying Horse is 23% off. Today's also the last day of Lego Insiders Days. Through the 31st, you can get the Lego Candy Store with purchases over $200. And you can get this free beach bag with $75 purchases of Animal Crossing, City, Duplo, Friends, Dreams, Harry Potter, and Jago and Super Mario. There's double points on City, Friends, Technic, and Disney. Plus, a ton of Lego sets are 30-40% to 40 off, so if you want to pick up any of these deals and more, and support the channel, there's links to everything in the description below. Next, thanks to BrickLicker, we've got details on the 7 January 2025 Marvel sets, including our first set from the Spider-Verse movies. This set is Spider-Verse Miles Morales vs. The Spot and will retail for $40. As you know, LEGO Spider-Man was featured in the most recent Across the Spider-Verse, but this is our first LEGO set based on the property. As the set name implies, we'll finally be getting a Spider-Verse version of Miles Morales. But as for The Spot, it's unclear if we're going to get a minifigure version or if the build might be a big fig style character like we saw with Sam. Man. Or the build could be their battle in the bodega, similar to the ATM heist battle set we got from Spider-Man Homecoming. But in any case, I'm just so excited that this opens up the door to all the possibilities and characters from the Spider-Verse movies, and I'm hoping we see more. Next up, they're also continuing the tradition of Lego Marvel-based cars for January. And after getting a buggy and a street bike, Venom's finally getting a car with the Spider-Man vs. Venom's Venomized car, retailing for $30. I imagine the build will be similar in size and scope to the recent Spider-Man car that we just got this year. I'm hoping for 2025 will get an updated Spider-Man suit, as well as a new Venom, as both haven't gotten updates in a while. Next, after giving Iron Man a bike in the August set, next year Iron Man will have a car in the Iron Man's car in Black Panther vs. Red Hulk set for $35. Beyond it being strange that Iron Man needs a car, it's great to be getting Red Hulk. And I wouldn't be surprised if it's the same new version from the postponed Captain America Brave New World set. And I'm hoping the set comes with a fun new version of Iron Man and Black Panther in this awesome team-up. Next up, the Marvel mech line will also be continuing into 2025. And despite their being so many Spider-Man mechs, we're getting another one. This will be the Spider-Man mech versus Anti-Venom for $15, and featured two minifigures similar to the recent Venom mech. But I'm hoping unlike that set, we'll see a brand new version of Spider-Man. But regardless of that, we are getting our first ever Anti-Venom, which is super exciting. We'll also be getting yet another Iron Man mech in Iron Man mech versus Ultron for $15. And I'm hoping we'll get another mech exclusive version of Iron Man. But I'm personally most curious about Ultron, if he'll be MCU based, or maybe something more based on the comics. Or if it'll be repurposed like the version we got in the Avengers Tower. Next up, we're going to be getting another Lego Marvel art base set. And while we've seen some interesting swings with the Spider-Man art, this time we're going to be getting a buildable Marvel logo for $100. This is definitely an interesting concept that we've seen tackled by fans like Playwell Bricks. Interestingly, there's also a rumored upcoming Star Wars logo set that's supposed to come with a George Lucas minifigure, which might mean this set could give us our first ever Stan Lee Lego minifigure, which would just be awesome. And all these sets are on top of the Civil War Airport Battle set for $100 that we talked about last week, which makes me just so excited for everything coming next year. This portion of the video is sponsored by Whatnot. This week I'm opening up my Lego vault to bring you my biggest Whatnot stream ever, with tons of giveaways including Captain Rex's Y-Wing, and a special giveaway for the Spider-Man Final Battle set with all those awesome minifigures. The minifigure lineup is stacked with Simpsons, Disney, Ninja Turtles, Pirates, Indiana Jones, Marvel, DC, and more. Retired sets and polybags, tons of rare gifts with purchase, Star Wars buildable figures, Figures, and sealed original Star Wars sets. So be sure to sign up for Whatnot using my link in the description below to get $15 in free credit, which is basically a free figure. Don't forget to follow me on Whatnot and save the show to make sure you're notified. And don't forget, you can use your credit on the San Diego live streams that are happening all weekend long across categories for Comic-Con. And I can't wait to see you on Wednesday. Next up, BrickLicker also gave us all the DC superhero sets, including some sets beyond Batman, finally. Beyond Batman, we're getting a Superman mech versus Lex Luthor set with one. 120 pieces, retailing for $15. It's so exciting to be getting a brand new version of Lex Luthor. Though interestingly, he's usually the character we see depicted with a Lego mech, like this classic one from 2012. That said, I'm also hoping we could be seeing a new version of Superman, as I'm wondering if this set could even be an early tie-in to the James Gunn Superman legacy film coming out later that year. From Batman, interestingly, we're getting the Dark Knight Tumblr with 429 pieces, retailing for $60. Despite only having seven less pieces, this 2023 version costs $20 less 
than this new one. And my only thought for the additional price tag is that maybe it would have a feature to launch out the bat pod like we saw in The Dark Knight. $48 felt like a lot for this version from the 1992 movie. But as the new set based on the animated series is also $60, maybe this is the new normal. But I suppose this set does come with three minifigures versus the Tumblr only having two. So hopefully that means we'll be getting a new Dark Knight Batman, perhaps another Heath Ledger Joker, and maybe even our first ever Harvey Dent Two-Face. Finally, we're also getting a new 4 Plus Batmobile with 63 pieces retailing for $20. And while this last one wasn't anything special, the new one does have more pieces and costs less. And I'm hoping it includes anyone beyond Batman and Joker. Next in Comic-Con news, Lego will be back at the convention next week with an all new booth. Though I definitely think it's going to be hard to top last year's Brick Buster video. I'd expect them to have brand new large scale models to take photos with and there's going to be even more photo ops at the Lego Marvel Experience booth. Where they'll also have the latest Lego Marvel sets on display and I imagine even more will be on display at Lego's booth. And while it's reported Lego won't be part of the exclusives portal this year, they may still have some exclusive items. Like last year's exclusive pins and build a minifigure station with exclusive torso. As for panels, there's going to be a Lego Ninjago Dragons Rising Continues panel on Thursday at 1pm, which will discuss everything from the recent season to the 15th anniversary and the future of Ninjago, featuring people who work on the show, including voice actors. There's also going to be another panel for Lego Masters Back Behind the Brick on Friday at 4.30, where you'll get updates on Lego Masters Season 5, the next year's holiday Bricktacular, and more with a panel featuring Brickmaster Jamie, many of the show's executive producers, all hosted by Season 4 winner Christopher, who just had his finale build turned into travel moments with 1,231 pieces, retailing for $150 on August 1st. And the US version of the box features a special label. And if you're at the panel, Christopher will actually talk about how this set got made. And interestingly, Season 1 contestant turned Lego designer Boone was actually one of the two designers that put this one together. Now with official photos of the set, we get an even better look at the awesome build for the World Wonderliner, which is the element that was taken straight from the show and actually features this same font style. As part of the new build together line, the set can be built amongst five people where you can actually take the four quadrants of the map to assemble the world, which can even be displayed separately hung on a wall. The set also comes with 20 location tiles to place on the map to mark your home, your favorite destinations, or plan your next trip. And there's even a cruise ship, car, and trailer, RV, and train to further decorate. And at the back, there's holders to hold photos and mementos. At $150, the set does feel a little bit expensive to me, but I think it makes a nice display. Next up, thanks to LEGO and the Ambassador Network, I was able to take a look at the LEGO Iron Man Mark V Brickheads. It's great to be getting this suit from Iron Man 2, and I like that it has a unique color scheme with the gray and dark red. The helmet is built similarly to others, though it does feature some nice printing for those lines on the face. The rest of the suit has armor detail, boosters, and of course, another print for the segmented section of the chest. Though I do think the back is lacking a little detail. But at $10, it's hard to go wrong with a brickhead, and I think it's perfect for Marvel fans. Next up, tomorrow at LEGO stores, they're hosting an all-new building event. The build is for a McLaren Formula One car, and interestingly, it's actually the exact same build from the recent Polybag. And they also just announced on Sunday, August 4th from 12 to 2, they're going to be hosting this back-to-school Apple mini build. And I really like the look of this build with all those slopes. And I'm really looking forward to both these events, because if you're anything like me, I never say no to free LEGO. Next up, thanks to the Smith's German website, we got our first look at the LEGO Monkey Palace board game. In the game, you compete against each other to help a monkey rebuild its palace, with the goal to build the stairs upwards and earn banana points. Growing up, I used to play lots of LEGO board games, so I think this one could be a lot of fun. But it looks like we'll have to wait for more details as we look towards the game's launch on October 3rd. So there you have it, another super exciting week in LEGO news with all the exciting 2025 rumors. As a huge superheroes fan, I can't wait for all the sets coming from LEGO Marvel and of course DC. And I'm super excited with all the announcements that could be coming out of San Diego Comic-Con next week. And of course, I can't wait to see you all on Wednesday for my next and biggest whatnot stream ever. Be sure to leave this video a thumbs up down below if you're as excited as me. And don't forget to subscribe because I'll be back next week with even more LEGO news. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think about all the stories? And which one are you most excited about? And now we've got this week's giveaway winner. Congratulations. And be sure to email me from the about page on my channel so we can coordinate about the prize. And if you want to enter this week's round, just leave me a comment about this week's news. You must be a subscriber to win and definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks and have a good one.